One of the destroyers in the squadron assigned to Kearsarge was the USS Frankie Evans, DD-754, shown here refueling from Kearsarge. In June of 1969, the Kearsarge, Evans, and other destroyers joined the ships of several member nations of CEDAW, the Southeast Asia Treaty Organization, in a training exercise in the South China Sea. The ships were mixed up to provide cross-training, and the Evans was assigned with other destroyers to screen the Australian anti-submarine warfare carrier HMAS Melbourne. Around 3 a.m. on June 3rd, the Evans was in the screen ahead of Melbourne. The ships were operating a zigzag plan in darkened ship condition with no running lights. This was ordered by the U.S. Admiral in overall command of Exercise Sea Spirit, despite a series of near misses between ships already in the exercise. Melbourne ordered Evans to take station in plain guard position behind the Melbourne in preparation for conducting flight operations. Thus began a series of errors by the Evans officer of the deck and junior officer of the deck that ended in tragedy. The Evans bridge watch officers first failed to wake the captain of their ship as required by the captain's night orders whenever maneuvers were ordered. Next, they misinterpreted several signals from Melbourne as to the base course of the formation and the carrier's actual heading at the time. As a result, instead of turning away from the carrier to safely circle around and come up behind it, which they should have done like this, they mistakenly turned in front of the carrier. Despite warnings from the Melbourne that it was on a collision course, the Evans failed to take evasive action until it was too late to avoid the collision. They collided at right angles, and the Evans was cut in half by the force. The front half of the Evans sank within a few minutes, with 73 men trapped inside. Another body was found in the water. The CIC watch officer on Kearsarge woke me up to come up and help with the search operations that continued through the morning, but no further survivors were ever found. The back half of the destroyer had come to rest next to the stop Melbourne, and it was fastened to it as the survivors were taken off it. The destroyer Larson later took charge of the remains of the Evans, pictured above. The Melbourne sustained significant damage to her bow, but suffered no casualties. The Evans survivors were transferred to Kearsarge later that morning. The man standing alone in white with his hands behind his back is the captain of the Evans, who had never been awakened before the collision. The remaining ships proceeded to Subic Bay, where an inquiry was held, presided over by the same U.S. Admiral who had command of the exercise. He was widely viewed as being strongly prejudiced against the Australians in his conduct of the inquiry, and the findings blamed both parties, effectively ending the careers of all officers involved. The Navy subsequently made a 30-minute training film about how it all occurred, which is shown to prospective deck watch officers. 